Member for Vancouver Falls Creek. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It was a number of years ago that I met Jesse. He had just finished high school a year early at age 16. Jesse and his mom were new Canadians, having been in Canada for less than a year. They fled violence in their home country to build a better life in BC. Unfortunately, Jesse's mom suffered from severe mental illness related to the trauma she'd experienced and was unable to care for Jesse, who ended up a week after graduation alone, broke, Remember, and on the streets. Remember, can you hold for a second? Your mic is very staticky, so we are trying to see if it can be fixed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Remember, I think this noise is coming from outside of your office. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Is it possible to close windows and doors and everything? Unfortunately not, Mr. Speaker. I'm in a, a tower in Yale Town and there's construction two floors above me. Okay, continue. It's okay. Continue, member. <laughs> I apologize for the noise, my colleagues. When I met Jesse, he'd been arrested for shoplifting and it was so heartbreaking. He had stolen basic foodstuffs and deodorant. I was a law student working in the volunteer LSLAP clinic at UBC and we took his case. Fortunately, the judge agreed to diversion and Jesse was directed to resources, one of which I'd like to speak of now, Covenant House. Covenant House got Jesse off the street and into safety. And I shudder to think what would have happened to this bright, kind, gentle young man had he not found the support an outstanding organization was able to provide. Not just the basics of food and shelter, of extreme importance, but also a sense of community. He was able to create a resume, and through contacts I was able to share with he and his counselor, Jesse got a job as a video game tester at one of our local studios in Vancouver. He was eventually able to get his own apartment and began to build his life which later included studying computer science at UBC. The youth who turned to Covenant House in Vancouver are extremely vulnerable. And this year, keeping them safe has taken on a new level of urgency. The street outreach team connected 551 individual youth. 367 youth found safety and stability during their crisis time. Every day, an average of over 100 youth found support at Covenant House Vancouver. The kitchen staff lovingly prepared and served more than 1,750 meals every week. 219 youth found and maintained employment. I ask that members of this house join me in applauding the incredible work of Covenant House for the youth of BC. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.